What's up guys, KS Kirali here, back again with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to enable a dark mode on your Pocophone F1 right now. So not only Pocophone F1, you can try it on any Xiaomi device running MIUI 10. So basically, the system-wide dark mode is currently available for a few of the Xiaomi devices. For example, the Redmi Note 7 Pro recently got the dark mode, as well as the Redmi Note 5 Pro, the Mi 8. All of these devices are actually getting a system-wide dark mode. but what about the Pocophone F1 and other Xiaomi devices running MIUI 10? And also the latest devices, especially the Redmi K20 Pro, as you can see the new phones uh, that Xiaomi actually recently released it. So they also have the dark mode option out of the box, which you can get it. You can simply toggle it on to turn on the dark mode. And the older devices like a Pocophone F1 haven't yet got this update. So, but anyway guys, this trick will help you to enable the dark mode with a blink. So just follow the video till to the end so we will be using an adb command to enable the dark mode so keep in mind this works for any xiaomi device running a miui 10 so anyway guys let's get into the video first thing first what you're going to do is just going to go to the uh, settings and click on the about phone then scroll all the way and you can see the miui version as you can see i'm running the global stable 10.3.6 which is the latest version by the time of recording this video i'm going to go ahead and tap on this for seven times in order to activate the developer options you're gonna see this message you are now a developer so once you see that message then go back to the main page of the settings and scroll all the way here until you see the option called additional settings then scroll up and then you're gonna see the developer option just gonna go ahead and tap on it make sure that you need to enable this USB debugging option that's very important I'm gonna go ahead and toggle it on as soon as you toggle it on it's gonna be warn you just gonna go ahead and click on OK so once you click on OK the next thing is you need to turn on this USB a security settings USB debugging security setting this is very very important because if you don't turn it on you are gonna get a Java exception error by the ADB command so just gonna go ahead and enable it so when you enable it it's gonna warn you like you need to sign out I mean you need to sign in with your me account as well as make sure that you have inserted a sim card onto your device running a miui 10 so anyway i'm going to go ahead and discard the warnings as you can see it's actually warning me so i'm going to go ahead and do that so then you're going to go ahead and click on the accept just going to go ahead and bypass all of these warnings uh, as you can see now we have enabled these two so our, oh my god i just again what the hell is going wrong here so yeah that's a mistake so i didn't do it intentionally it's it's actually unintentional thing so anyway i'm gonna go ahead and turn it on so okay so it's taking a lot of time anyway so as you can see i have enabled so make sure that you enable the usb debugging as well as the usb debugging security settings both these settings are enabled all right guys switching back to the computer so go ahead check the link in the description down below the first thing we're going to be a take you to one page so we're going to go ahead and download this file it's going to be called the platform tools which contains both adb and fastbit commands for the windows computer you can also try it on your mac os as well as linux but for the demonstration purposes, I will be using a Windows computer. So just gonna go ahead and download this file and place it on your desktop. I'm gonna go ahead and extract it using the Avindor extractor. Now, once it's extracted, I'm gonna go ahead and delete the zip file. I no longer need that file. Then go ahead, open the extracted folder where you're gonna find the all of the tools, the platform tools. Uh, make sure that you are having the ADB as well as the fastbit commands present in this new extracted folder. So now once you are ready, just gonna go ahead and highlight the address bar from the top and then type CMD and then press the return key or the enter key on your keyboard. So this is going to instantiate the a command prompt from the platform tools working directory. So if I type DIR then what it's going to do is going to show all of the files from that directory so make sure that you're in the current directory adb as well as a fast boot then uh switching back to the a camera view so i'm going to go ahead uh, as you can see that i'm going to go ahead uh connected my phone to the computer so as you can see i have connected it so once you have connected your phone to the computer then type this command called adb uh, devices I'm gonna go ahead and type it again so ADB devices so as soon as you type the ADB devices on your phone you will see the prompt like that just gonna go ahead and click on OK again type ADB devices one more time to ensure that the device reference ID is actually listed over there now we're gonna enable the dark mode with one ADB setting so it's gonna be do one shot alright so just gonna go ahead and type this command 
uh, ADB, all right, shell. Then we're gonna say settings, then put, and then we're gonna say secure. Then you say UI underscore night, then type underscore mode. And here you need to put a number. So it might be a zero, it might be one, it might be two. So if you enable zero, so the dark mode will change based on the time. And if you enable one, the dark mode will be disabled. And if you enable, if you type two, the dark mode will be enabled permanently. So there will be a no dark mode button will be appearing inside the display settings, but it will be enabled. So I'm gonna go ahead and enable the dark mode right now uh, by typing the number two and then press the return key. So as soon as press the return key, now we have successfully executed the command. I'm gonna go ahead and take the USB cable and then let's gonna go ahead and restart the phone all right so once it's restarted now you are gonna be rocking a dark mode on your xiaomi device running miui 10. all right guys the phone has been successfully restarted so moment of the truth there we go now we got the dark mode on the Poco Phone F1. Unfortunately, you will not gonna be able to turn it off or turn it on from the display. So that option will not be here. So you can always hook up your phone to the computer as of now, and then you need to turn it on or turn off using the ADP command only. So anyway, guys, this is how you can get the system wide dark mode on any Xiaomi device running MIUI 10. So anyway guys, if you like this video, then hit the thumbs up button down there and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and consider clicking on the bell button to get notified. So thanks for watching. This is your boy KSK Royal and I will catch you in my next one. Peace.